Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this weekend, Scott surprised me on a surprise weekend trip. I have not had a weekend getaway. Seems like we maybe have, I really haven't. And I said, take me where you wanna take me. And so he booked all of our stuff. And remember, we're from Seattle and I found out we're in Fort Lauderdale. You got it, the boating capital. I think they call it the Venice of the US. So we've got three days here to explore and check out some boats, so come along. The main purpose of our trip was to check out a 1980 Hatteras 53 as a possible project or liveaboard boat. But more about that later. Arriving in Fort Lauderdale, it quickly became apparent that Southern coastal boating is way different than what we enjoy in the Pacific Northwest. Everything seemed bigger, brighter, and shinier. We have stumbled across this massive building that goes way up there. And what we figured out is this is actually an indoor sky launch, boat launch type of thing. So you bring your boat in here, and then it goes up into these rafters, five stories high, and then it drops you right in the water. That is cool. And it protects you from the elements. So it's all indoor. There's one in Tacoma like this. That is cool. So this appears to be under construction, which is a Ferretti showroom, as you can see. But oh my God, look at this showroom. Wow. And look at that Pershing 70. Oh my God, this is stunning. I will say the boats in Florida are much bigger than they are in Seattle. Can't wait to see what we're going to tour tomorrow. The big boats in Seattle are just the dinghies for these boats. Oh, no. Wow. That is stunning. Look at the toys. And yeah. I think they have a... Somebody hit the dock, 4th of July weekend. Of a fun day. We explored Fort Lauderdale today. I've never Love been yep. to Fort Lauderdale. I think you have. Mm -hmm. I, um, it is definitely rainy season, so we kind of went to one marina, checked it out. Their marinas are totally different than our marinas. They're not like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. You don't just walk to a marina and right. they have public displays. Right. I mean, we went to one, which was Harbor Town. Thank you, Bobby. And they had, I think, 12 boats on display total. Oh, they had a lot more than that. Oh, it seemed like. Oh, yeah, they had a lot they, more than that. But there were some that were way out of our price range. They were all out of our price 1. range. 1.5 <laughs> million. And they were all big boats. And they were really big boats. Then we went to Bahia Mar. Yeah. And uh, that's where Florida, the beach is. Mm -hmm. And we beach. didn't go to the actual beach because it was kind of rainy, but we then walked around after a cup after mm -hmm. lunch. So it was just fun to ch check out oh, yeah. Fort Lauderdale. I yeah. think it was cool. Yep. So tomorrow we're supposed to go on a tour of a Craigslist ad of a 1980 Hatteras yep. liveaboard. 53 foot. We'll see what happens. <laughs> That's why we're here. So come along and we'll see what this boat looks like. I don't think it's going to look like that. this one. No. But let's see what it looks like. Well, after four days yep. here in Fort Lauderdale. The culmination are, of our trip. <laughs> we are actually coming down to take a look at a liveaboard boat. 
Uh, it's actually on a private dock, mm -hmm. so that's very common here in Florida. Yep. This is a 53 foot 1980 Hatteras. Yep. We've never been on a Hatteras yep. before, and it is actually a current liveaboard. So let's go take a look at it and see what it's like. The 1980 Hatteras 53 is a classic wide body motor yacht with three staterooms and three heads with separate showers. Stepping onto the boat through the port side pilot house door, one enters directly into the lower helm station and interior salon. It quickly became apparent the boat has been well lived in. The lower helm features separate throttle and gear controls and all the original gauges and navigation gear. The main panel is next to the starboard pilot house door. Checking out the bow, one feels safe along the walkway with its high and secure railings. The bow features an electric windlass, ventilation hatch for the berth below, and comfortable seating for cruising the canals of Fort Lauderdale or enjoying a sundowner at the dock. Stepping back inside and after the salon, you enter the outdoor enclosed salon, a beautiful four season space for entertaining, dining, and relaxing. From here, take a few steps up the ladder to access the upper helm station. The flybridge provides plenty of seating, upper helm station, and bimini top. Unfortunately, for our visit, everything was covered. The Hatteras also includes a tender with a crane davit system. I will say the visibility is excellent from above. I can think of worse things than sitting above and watching the canal traffic pass by on a lazy afternoon. Heading below, you enter the lower settee to starboard and galley to port. One of the strangest things I've ever seen on a boat is a dishwasher located directly below the cooktop. Everything is original here. The washer and dryer are located just forward of the settee. Forward of the galley is the first of three full heads with showers to port. The first guest berth is located in the bow. It features two twin bunks and a hanging locker. Currently, it's being used for storage and as a workshop. Next, heading aft, the Hatteras features split engine rooms, one to port, the other to starboard, housing twin Detroit Diesels 871 Ti engines with 2,500 hours. The current house setup is 32 volt, and they recommended it be converted to 24 volt for a couple of reasons cost, reliability, and maintainability. Parts are much easier to find for a 24 volt system than a 32 volt. Heading further aft, there is a guest room to port with two single bunks and a full head with shower to starboard. And finally, all the way to aft is the master stateroom featuring a queen walk around berth, plenty of storage, makeup vanity, a full hanging locker bigger than some New York apartments, and an ensuite head and shower. Well, you may have noticed that we weren't able to do a full one-on-one -on -one tour because mm -hmm. we wanted to be courteous of the agent that was showing us the boat. Um, and uh, but it was definitely so it's our first Hatteras, mm -hmm. our first boat that's older than 1997. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And it is work. I mean, you saw, I see the video, see but the for pictures. a 40 year old boat, it's actually, I thought, in relatively good condition. So it was definitely a project boat, which would be kind of yes. cool. <laughs> so they do offer owner financing, uh, which is great because you know it's hard to get financing yeah. for an older boat. You know, we're in two scenarios right now. Um, we're looking for a project boat, but we're in Florida. Yeah. So where do you go from there? Do you just up and move here? Mm, we both have jobs in Seattle. Right. So we appreciated the fact that she took time to show us an older boat oh, yeah. that we could share with all of you. So it's a fantastic boat, great Good layout. Connection. And uh, so we hope you enjoyed the tour. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to leave your comments down below and ring the keep that. Yep. Ring the little <laughs> bell for notifications and be sure to subscribe. Uh, you don't call her one take alley for nothing. <laughs> I'm not redoing it. So be sure and subscribe so that you can follow us on our journey and find out where we end up. Thanks for everyone. See you soon.